make a pinwheel, and steam it up into a windmill. Summer Steam with Kawartha Lakes Public Library. Hi, I'm Marika with Kawartha Lakes Public Library. It's our final week of Summer Steam. This week, we have kits ready for pickup that have everything you need to make a pinwheel. You can also steam it up and turn it into a working windmill. Watch this video for instructions on how to complete the project. Don't forget to check our website for tips and ideas on how you can further steam things up. In the kit that we have ready for pickup at our open branches, you'll receive an instruction sheet. Uh, if you need another copy of this, you can get it from our website. Go to www.kawarthalakeslibrary.ca. Go to the kids section. Uh, go to TD Summer Reading. And then scroll down until you see the Steam banner. And then scroll down until you see this week and open that up and you'll find the instructions and this video and uh, some tips and suggestions on how to further steam this project up. You're also going to receive um, in the package a template for the pinwheel. You're going to get uh, a little piece of doweling, a straw, what else? a small cup, two pony beads. Uh, coincidentally, these pony beads fit the, it's the same size as the doweling, a uh, length of string and a binder clip. Um, if you're sourcing this from home, uh, having some tape on hand, if you have tape on hand, you wouldn't need to get um, the pony beads or the binder clip. Um, you're also going to need some scissors and uh, something to poke a hole with. So maybe a sharp pencil would work for that. And we're also sending you a cup. That's what's going to be the base for our windmill. If you don't have a cup, watch the video and I'll show you some ideas on what to uh, make. I would suggest you get started on uh, getting your pinwheel created by poking holes where the five black dots are uh, marked. Uh, I would you know, maybe start off if you have a really sharp pencil, you can poke a hole with that. My pencil isn't super sharp, so I've got a, a little thumbtack and I'm going to start a teeny little hole with that. And then I'm going to poke a hole, a, a bigger hole. I'm going to work through that little pinhole and poke a, hole, a bigger hole with the pencil. And I would recommend you do that before you cut anything out. It's just going to give you a bit more leverage with the sheet of paper. Um, and what the hole size that you want to make is something that's going to let this little piece of doweling, or if you're using a skewer, that you want to see that, to make sure that that will fit through easily, but it's not too loose. So that works for me. So if you push a little bit up a pencil, that's about the same diameter as the doweling. So let's keep going and we're going to poke holes in all of those. This should help you. You shouldn't, uh, shouldn't make any tears this way. If you do happen to make a tear, you can tape over it and poke the hole through again over the tape and your corners of your pinwheel should be fine. Okay, so I have uh, poked nice holes in the five the dots that were marked on the template and now I'm just finishing cutting up the outside square lines that were on the template. So I've got a nice square here. Now I'm going to cut these diagonal lines. You'll see that these lines don't go all the way to the center. They just go part way, and that's where you want to stop cutting. So you're just going to make a couple snips, one or two snips, and stop where the line stops. And you're going to do that along all four lines. There's three, and here is four. So I have four flaps. I don't have four triangles. I have four flaps on my shape. Next, I'm going to thread the pinwheel onto the dowel. We've included these little beads because they just happen to fit the dowel just perfectly. They fit on, they slide on snugly, but they're not too loose. And they're going to act as stoppers. Our pinwheel is going to want to open up, and these will act as stoppers and keep it nice and snug. If you're doing this project with your own materials, you can use tape instead of pony beads at this step in the process. So I've fed one on and I've left, I've pushed it in about a finger width in uh, and that's going to stop the back end of my pinwheel from flopping open. I'm going to start threading it through the center hole, fit that through and I'm going to feed it all the way to the pony bead. Then I'm going to take the other flaps, actually I've changed my mind, I'm going to keep that up close to the top to start uh, and I'm going to then feed my flaps through. This is where you want to be careful. Um, 
to carefully thread that. You, you don't want a tear. If you do happen to tear, you can just tape the edge of that up to keep it okay. And I'm going to feed through all four holes nice and carefully. I'm not going to fold down when I'm bending over. I want them to stay open like this. I'm really just bending them and threading them through onto the dowel. I've got one left. There we go. Come on. There we go. So there we go. So I've got pony bead here. Now I'm going to sort of slowly, carefully adjust that in and put another pony bead here. There we go. And I'm going to push it all down. So once again, it's close to here, leaving about a finger width at this end. So just kind of push it down. Now you're going to push this end, just slowly make adjustments until you've got a nice snug pinwheel. Now what you can do if you want to make just a pinwheel is feed your dowel through the straw. And if you hold onto the straw and blow, you have a pinwheel. If you want to steam things up and turn your pinwheel into a working windmill like this, you have to make one little modification before you go ahead. So right now, you have a straw that is sitting on your dowel. If you pull that straw out, it's actually, if you feel along, your dowel doesn't go all the way through your straw. For me, I can see that my dowel ends about here and then that's all straw. What I need to do is I need to cut my straw. So this is where my dowel is. I need to cut my straw uh, so that I have maybe another finger's width on that end. First, I have to answer the phone. Okay, so I've trimmed my straw. So this much is straw and I have left, I've cut the straw so that I have this much of the dowel sticking out. To make my windmill, I'm going to take the straw out of or off of the dowel. I'll set my pinwheel down. I'm going to take the bigger cup that was sent in the kit and I'm going to tape the straw down. I'm going to tape it over here. I'm not going to smush the straw. I'm just going to put some tape on there to secure. Okay, I've got one piece on and I'm just going to take one more piece and put that over top of the cup again so that my straw is on there fairly secure. Now I can thread the dowel back on to, to give my windmill a little bit of height. I'm going to set it on top of something. I'm going to take this mug, turn it upside down, and set the windmill on here. Now it might be a little bit tippy. Our sail is actually a little bit heavier than the cup base. So I'm going to secure that. This can take a small piece of tape and on the opposite end of where the sails are. So the sails are on this side. So I'm just going to take a little bit of tape and hold that cup down to the mug that I'm using as a base. Now if I blow, it all stays put. If you are sourcing materials from home, your base can be something like a tall tube. Just make sure it's narrow enough that your straw fits on top and you have room on either side for the sail to be on one side, the pinwheel, and you've got room on the other side for your dowel to stick out. I'm now going to make a bucket that I can attach to the windmill and I'm going to use the bucket to lift things. So I took the smaller cup that came in the kit and I poked starter holes on opposite sides of the cup with my thumbtack and then poked them a little bit bigger with the pencil and then I threaded one end of the string through one hole and now I'm taking the other end of the string feeding it through the other hole. So I've got kind of like two bucket handles. Can you see how that looks? And I'm just going to even out my string like so so that my ends are the same and now I'm going to tie this string to the section of dowel that's sticking out from the straw. So I'm just going to loop that around. It just needs a simple little knot on there. It doesn't have to be pretty. That's fitting through and it's tight and I can just test my windmill. It still turns. The straw's not or the uh, string is not stopping it. Now to get this all to kind of sit tight, I'm going to use the binder clip that came in the kit. This is called a binder clip. It's used generally, we use it in our office to hold bunches of paper together. So you're going to turn it around so it's a little bit like a butterfly. And then this is actually a clamp. That's another engineering marvel, a clamp. And if you squeeze it, it opens up. So I'm going to squeeze it and I'm going to put it on the end of my windmill. That's going to also help give my 
windmill some stability. It's going to offset the weight of the sail. So my windmill will sit nice and uh, nice and level. So I have the binder clip, I have my knotted string, that's all on the doweling, and then I have my straw. Now, if I blow, let's watch what happens to this bucket when I blow and blow and blow on the windmill. Let me put this more in the center so you can see what happens. Can you see it's winding? Oh, it's winding crazy. And my bucket is, it lifted the bucket. So the string, as the pinwheel turned, it wound up the string. Let me get that a little tidier. It wound up the string, and as the string got shorter, it lifted up the bucket. See if you can do that with just an empty bucket and then try putting different things into your bucket and see how many things you can put in there until you run out of wind power. If you wanted to, you could find a longer length of string. You could find a different um, object to act as a bucket. Uh, so you could make your windmill taller and lift things a longer distance. Uh, and you could see how heavy an object you could lift with it. Uh, you could also try putting your windmill in front of a fan and seeing if that lifts things faster or if it's stronger, if you can lift heavier things using fans wind power. We'd love to see the pinwheel or windmill that you make. Send us a photo. You can email it to libraryadministration at kawarthalakeslibrary.ca or post it on one of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We're listed as Kawartha Library, and it would be great if you use the hashtag SummerSteam. That is our final project for the summer. We hope you had fun, and we'll see you in the fall.